So recently Flamingo made a response to the recent drama regarding the popular YouTuber Mike Crack who had stole his and Polar Cup's thumbnail only a few days ago after the situation gained traction on Twitter. After the video, many people decided to call out Mike Crack on his newest video which contained the stolen asset and still Mike Crack has refused to take any accountability for what he has done and has still not changed the thumbnail. Here is what Flamingo had to say about the situation. Mike Crack, my favorite YouTuber with 30 million subscribers. Oh, what's this? This image looks very familiar. That kind of reminds me of something. Huh. <laughs> that reminds me of a thumbnail we made a year ago. Huh. Let's put these side by side. <laughs> you just screenshot of mine and you put your character over it. That's not fair. Look, I think the cowboy hat is right there. Look, this is my crack fan art we made year a year ago, actually. So I'm really honored he acknowledged it and is using it. I can't believe it. it's got 3 million views in two days. I don't get those kind of views. No, um, people steal our thumbnails a lot, uh, which is cool. We have good thumbnails. The 30 million subscribers, I feel like he could maybe afford to pay someone to make his own. As Flamingo stated, at 30 million subscribers, Mike should have the common decency of not relying on other creators' artwork and thumbnails, just so he can profit off them. And even if it is his thumbnail editor copying people's thumbnails, that doesn't invalidate the fact that this has been going on for literally years. And I even made a Google document barely scratching the surface on how many thumbnails have been blatantly stolen by Mike Crack and his editor. You can literally see thumbnails being stolen from Dan TDM, Log.zip, and other popular creators. So it is obvious that Mike Crack will not change his ways, even if he is called out by Flamingo or someone else with a large platform. As long as the process of him stealing thumbnails gains him a large amount of money and views, he will not care for the backlash. And it is evident as he hasn't even bothered to credit the original thumbnail designers in the past. And also regarding thumbnails Flamingo even covered the other questionable thumbnails Mike Crack had made along with Mike putting a huge watermark on the stolen thumbnail to make it look like he edited it as you can see. What are you putting this image on the internet for? What a strange guy. What do you talk about on here? Hey, this is mine too. Mike, this is my image. You screenshotted my NFT. This one was even lazier. He wrote Mike Crack on the thing and then pasted an image of a dog. The reason why Mike Crack has consistently still thumbnails is just another attempt at trend hopping so he can get as many views as possible by incorporating the least amount of effort as possible by making the thumbnails as the thumbnails he stole from were from videos that were performing very good in the YouTube algorithm so obviously Mike Crack wanted to capitalize on it and try and see if he or his thumbnail editor could get away with it you can tell he stole this one because he probably just pasted his dog image onto another person. <laughs> they do the same thing. We can just tell this one they pasted their thing onto it. As there is obviously a language barrier, and it is very rare for an English-speaking YouTuber to actually notice that another YouTuber who speaks a different language had stolen their thumbnail, just like what happened in the case of Len. Flamingo ended the video off by stating, that the callout was necessary as artists deserve to have their artwork respected and not stolen just so some other person can commercially benefit off it. Um, kind of on a real note, I'm not too upset by this, but uh, I think it's just important to call it out because like, I think it's good to enforce like artistic integrity, you know, encourage people to make their own thing. I think it's cool to make your own thing. I think it's cool to not steal other people's stuff. I think it's cool to be creative. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new and comment your opinions regarding this entire situation. Goodbye.